So I want to do a video on a pretty useful tool that is actually in the AUR and it's on GitHub. On the surface, it is uh, a tool for reading the King James Bible on the command line, which is useful enough for a lot of people. Um, but you might be asking, how, how could that be useful to me? I don't ever read the Bible. Um, it's a very nice little script that can parse any kind of tab separated value file and that happens to be some kind of versified text. And it is a very intuitive interface. So I'm going to showcase it, showcase this guy's little script, because I've actually forked a couple of repositories from it um, to generate actually other Bibles, Bibles, uh, a Septuagint, Septuagint Bible in Greek and the Clementine Vulgate in Latin. And it can probably be used not just for other things like sacred texts, but any, any kind of text that happens to have, be divided in chapters and verses. So I just found it very useful. So um, anyway, so in the AUR, it's KGV slash or dash git. You can get it on GitHub as well. It's uh, this guy is Bontabon and the repository is KJV. Now I have my fork running on my machine right now. I have it installed. So I'll go ahead and show you how it works. So generally the idea is um, you can pretty much just give it any kind of bi uh, Bible book, let's say Genesis, and it's going to open that book up. All 50 chapters of Genesis, you can read them straight right here. It's just, just going to open in your pager and you can scroll through them pretty easily. It's pretty much what you would expect. You can also select individual chapters. So let's say Genesis chapter five. And chapter 5 will come up in only 5, or give it individual verses. So let's say chapter 5, verse 10, or 10 to 20, or something like that, or maybe chapter 5 to 10, or something like that. Um, it pretty much works in the way you'd expect. You know, pr this is pretty much literally just how you annotate chapters and verses in any kind of versified text. So it's pretty easy. Um, I should say in addition, uh, it's pretty smart at guessing which book you want if you only put in part of the text. So if I say like Gen 7, it guesses Gen is Genesis or I think it might even have GE or something. Probably won't be able to guess G because there are a couple G, uh, well, well, maybe just goes with ever, whichever the first one is. Um, so it's pretty nice and of course it has both the New and the Old Testament so I can do, you know, Luke five through seven or something like that. Now, additionally, one nice thing is you can search the text. You can search um, um, search the whole text for some kind of, uh, any kind of word or something like that. So let's say we wanna search the entire Bible for Jesus. He's probably gonna be in there somewhere. And that will actually bring up every verse that has uh, that match in it. So of course, all the verses that mention Jesus are gonna pop up. Uh, much better than using the index in the back of your book. Uh, additionally, you can search individual books. So we can search Luke for Jesus, um, and that'll bring up all the verses in Luke that have Jesus in it, or, you know, Genesis. We can search Genesis for Jesus. There are none there, so as you'd expect. So the other options you can give this thing, um, well, it has a little help menu if you give it H, but um, aside from the search function, the only other thing that I think is notable is um, you can list out the books and you can disable line wrap if you want. I don't know why you'd want to, but maybe if you're parsing something, I I'm not quite sure, but um, so you can list the books. Now, I should say, I, I, I think I mentioned a second ago, I'm not actually using this guy's repo. I forked it and I added, I mean, really the only difference, the only thing that I added is I wanted to some of the deuterocanonical books or the apocrypha, so I added those in, and that's the only difference between my repository and his. But I'll, let me go ahead and pull mine up because I'm going to show you my the other things that I did with this script. Um, so you can get my fork of it here again. Just adds some apocryphal books, doesn't change anything else. Um, but I also used his little script to, uh, well, I, I'm, the other change is I made it so you can sudo make install it, so you can use the make file to directly install it. His, I think he just makes the binary and you have to move it yourself, but I'm too lazy for that. Um, but, but aside from that, I also made um, uh, a Clementine Vulgate in Latin and a Greek Bible. Uh, and again, the only things I really changed are the tab separated value file. So if I want to open this up, well, let me just open it up on my computer. Uh, so if I go to where my source code is for the Greek Bible, you'll see that if I open up the tab separated value file, really it's just, you know, the whole thing, the book name, the book abbreviation, the verses, 
and, and the book number and the text itself that's separated by tabs. So you could take not just obviously any Bible, but any um, any kind of text that's versified, and you can make your own equivalent of this. But anyway, let me show you the Greek interface. Now I decided to for the Greek Bible, you can of course you know type in Genesis, and it'll bring up you know, the Septuagint uh, translation of Genesis, um, but I decided to name all the books in English, and that's just because, um, just because I sort of assumed that not everyone has Greek input, but some people have, I mean, everyone has English input or Latin input, so it's pretty much okay. Um, but that does cause a little confusion, I should just say. If you don't know, in the Greek Bible, or in the Septuagint at least, um, so, for example, in English, we have 1 Samuel, 2 Samuel, 1 Kings, and 2 Kings. They have 1st through 4th Kings, where their 1st Kings is our 1st Samuel. So there are little differences like that. Um, I will say the Septuagint that I got there, it had a couple, for example, I have two books of Judges. And that's because uh, there's one that's from the Alexandrinus text, I think, and another one from the Vaticanus text. So there are a couple codexes that might have a little differences, and if I, if there are some, I just included them. And there are a couple other things, like for example, Ezra and Nehemiah, that's what we call them in English, but in Greek they're second estrus, but I made it so you can access them from either one. Um, but anyway, aside from that, it, it works pretty much the same way, of course, I can search, you know, I can go to the book of Luke, chapter 5, verse 10, or something like that. Uh, works pretty much how you'd expect. Um, and of course, as I said, I also made a Latin equivalent for it, uh, which, which is specifically using the Clementine Vulgate. So you can do the same thing here. So let me open up a... Well, I guess I don't really need to open up a new window for it. But the Vulgate has... Uh, I decided, heck, why not? I'll just use... Uh, English interface for the Vulgate as well, but uh, I might change that later since it is Latin input, but I can say Genesis, um, and there it is. It's pretty much everything works the same way. So I definitely encourage you to check these out because I think even if you're not using some kind of spiritual text or something, um, th this little script this guy made is really useful. Again, his original repository is Bontabon. I mean, his GitHub name is Bontabon, uh, but I have a couple of repositories uh, on my GitHub if you want to check those out. Uh, I think there are some forks that have, like, the LDS Bible. Um, I thought about making... I mean, there, I should say, the, or the reason I originally made the Greek Bible is a week or so ago, I got a comment from, or an email from someone asking if I had any tools for doing Greek Bible study on the command line. And I realized I don't think there were any of those, but I guess I could easily enough just fork this and make the, the Greek Bible here. Um, but additionally, he mentioned Hebrew, or, you know, I mean, the thing with Hebrew is I don't actually know how to do right-to-left text on the command line. I've just never done it. I've never had to. Maybe some of you guys will know more about that, but you might have to actually change the text around. So if you wanted to do either the Hebrew Bible or, you know, the Quran or something like, like that in the original Arabic, um, you would have to figure something like that out. But, you know, if you have any other kind of versified text, you could pretty easily just s supply a, a tab-separated value file, and that'll be it. Oh, and I should say, um, I think I mentioned the Greek Bible is using the Septuagint. Um, I mean, but the Septuagint is just the Old Testament. The New Testament is the SBL Greek New Testament. And the reason I chose that is not because I have a strong preference, but it's just because that was the easiest text for me to parse and get in the correct format in text, um, which, I don't know, might be a little arbitrary, but it took me a while to properly... I, there was a lot of setting and awking and, and Vim macros going on to get it in the right format, but... Anyway, so you can check these. I'll put the links to all of these repositories in the video description. Um, so if you come up with anything clever with these, be sure to send them to me, and I might, might, make no, mo, me, might make note of them. But anyway, hopefully that's been enough, and I will see you guys next time.